Hi guys, I'm back. I don't know what happened to my internet, but it just um, disappeared. I'm so sorry what happened. Okay, so going back to the waste management, as I have explained, there are certain procedures that we must follow and we must comply, not just as commu community um, residents, but we, uh, but also to our um, industrial sectors and businesses and malls and hospitals, okay? So talking about waste management, we must follow certain procedures. And one is um, identification of waste. So you must identify what your waste is and find a, a flow how to how you will uh, segregate this one and for segregating you have certain boxes to store it it must be very well segregated okay and then third is before you dispose your waste you must treat them so as i have mentioned there are different agencies who will do the treatment also there is in-house treatment in industries Okay, one second with my, if this is public, one second, because this is our second live and I don't know what happened with the, with the first live, it just, you know, just went off suddenly, suddenly, life has no me to me. Okay, public na siya. Yeah. Okay, so you can reserve your questions. I will be discussing about three to five minutes on this. Then you can ask anything about biology or wildlife, plants, animals, laboratory, climate change. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I cannot see the comments. Why? Oh, here. All right. So, the fourth, uh, the last step for waste is, so we have identification of waste, segregation of waste. Um, in third one is um, treatment or what are your means of treating your waste before disposal. Fourth is disposal. Okay, and... Pwede pa na siya ni mo dagdagan or um, we also have this reuse recycle if if the waste are are considered to be recycled. So from your identification pa lang, ma-determine na na ni mo siya if your waste is to go to recycling or reuse process. Okay, so that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm about to tell... <laughs> This question of Sir Dexter S. Ontoy. Yeah, I'm about to say this one right now. So his question, guys, is what waste management technologies used in Qatar that can be adopted by PH? Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you're familiar with this, but we have this incineration process okay maybe there are also incineration process in in-house sa mga industries sa philippines so let me give you a a, sh a brief uh, incineration process meaning okay so just to avoid um errors so incineration is the destruction of something especially waste material by burning so kung <laughs> kung sa dead body pa siya kay morgi cremate gani so ashes so ing ana ang isa sa ginagamit diri incineration process of waste so lessening the waste and then what else Sa diri sa Qatar, ang mga waste diri galing sa mga industries, 
I hope that, yeah, another also aside from incineration, we have here also some agencies, also kaayo diri ang, also kaayo diri ang, teka, nataga kong charger sa isa ka cellphone. No, but we, I mean. So, the Gandhi agencies, which are um, green energy ways, like like that, so they will be the one to collect. Like, I am the owner of the industry oil and gas, and Nian is the owner of the um, green collector. So, I will make contract with Nian. Like, uh, uh, this is a third party um, waste. Uh, contracting services who will collect my my waste okay so they will be the one to collect my liquid waste solid waste hazardous waste sewage treatment so they will collect from my from my plant and then they will treat it in his neon will treat it in his factory or his what he has a certain area where he can treat and uh then after he will dispose it. So there's no more harm in disposing because uh, the waste are already treated in a third party contracting services. So we, because some of the interest, industries uh, will not in-house um, waste except for sewage treatment, they, they can in-house it from there. Also Philippines has that. Okay, and yeah, so far those are the things that I know. <laughs> Maybe if there are others you can share also. <laughs> what specific waste are incinerated from, from Nian Bissaril? Unsaman, what... So, ang mga waste in our place in U.S. <laughs> so, the most hazardous waste that we have now is from hospitals. Hospitals, we have different um, uh, hazardous waste. So, mostly the waste that are incinerated are from hospitals or the medical waste, something like that. Because it's very dangerous na maadto siya sa mga land or sa ocean then you know it might affect the environment and it will come back to us in our place in the US we use we use dumpster and those dumpster are fully automated we call that dynamic waste collection we hope we can adapt that in field sir Dex I hope that I have answered your question uh, those are the things that I have known here in Qatar. And if you know others, you can also share here. Wow, we call that dynamic waste collection. That's that's the uh, waste management in in U.S. as per Nian Bissaril. Yes, I hope we can. I hope too we can adapt that in the Philippines. Yes. Are you guys practicing dynamic waste collection in Qatar. Um, can you elaborate? Would you mind to elaborate what dynamic waste? Uh, it's my first time to encounter that word, but maybe there is also something like that in here. Hi, Kimberly and Aline. Hi to all viewers there. Humana mo. Hi, Kuya Alex. Hi, Kuya Alex. But did they Momo ask uh, anything also about GIS, bathymetry, or um, plume dispersion modeling? But uh, I can give very general answer on that, and I can uh, forward you to expert on that thing. So, Nian Bissaril, um, would you mind to elaborate about dynamic waste collection? And... Maybe there is something that we have that to here in Qatar. Using dumpster, which are fully automated. 
which are fully automated, which means they already have an automated system of waste collection. How? What is the mode of automation? Hi, Kia Alex. Ah, okay. Incineration in the Philippines. Yeah, incineration in the Philippines is bad. Kanyatong activity right now, guys, is is um, for us to learn more things other than what we usually do. So, hi, Ma'am Lloyda Umay. Kumusta po? Alam mo, question and answer portion, Dani. Nian Bizarreal. How? What is the mode of mechanism of automa automated system of waste collection? Guys, uh, we will be... Excuse us. Um, brief lang niya na topic. So, every time we go live, we, must, uh, we will have uh, one topic. And then you can ask anything about that topic. And after that, discussing that topic, we can also... Proceed. We can proceed with your questions right after. Okay, so if you have questions, anything, not just to waste, then you can also uh, ask later after this topic. So they have sensors. Nian Bisuriel. They have sensors in their dumpsters. So it can detect a full load dumpsters para di mabaho or dili toxic sa community. Wow, that's a great thing amazing this so that's the mechanism of that automated system to collect the waste it's nice but <laughs> yeah i'm thinking i hope the philippines can invest on that amount of money because truck like it's a truck or dumpsters yes so they will roam around the the community, the village. Ah, okay. Congratulations, Nian, because you are part of that project and you're starting that. I hope you will push mo yan. I push mo talaga yan para ma implement yan and it will spread all over the Philippines. Yes, you voice it out and tell them to invest like this. <laughs> yeah, kay kapoy sad biya ato ang mga kanang mga cleaners no sa sidewalks na nilhig niya kita mga mga people kay magsalig grabe ta takulag labay ang uban ang uban dili tanan <laughs> takarag labay niya ah nabita taga limpia na sila na bala na di ba nganong mag ing ana man ta di ba so i hope that uh, this mode of automation can also be applied. That's a good thing also. Paglaban mo yan, yan, Brazil. Okay, we leave, we leave dumpsters in the community with sensors na, and a third party will collect it regularly. I hope we can implement that one here in the Philippines. Yes, please voice it, voice it out so we can help um our waste management system in the Philippines. Kuya Alexander Soyom Seller. Ha, Seller. Seller. Relax, Seller. Seller. How about solid waste management using GIS? Oh, <laughs> maybe it has some um, connection with what me and Bissaril was saying that it can locate or it can identify um this portion of land which has which has um uh identified waste okay it will determine okay and and what else so parang imo model muna siya parang imo model muna siya 
parang imamodel mo na sa yung GIS into the community where it is expected na meron talagang mga waste dyan. Okay? So, maybe that's the connection. How how about solid waste management using JS? So, Kuya Alexander Sil... Kuya Alex, but they, we can also create, as you expert on GIS, you can create a model. Like, for example, you can start it in your own barrio where you can you will model the area and it, it is expected to detect that there is... Um, uh, expected ways that so you can um, that will also be good to know the quantity of ways see if you have this GIS modeling then you can project um, ways regularly like every Saturday ba na oh na nasay ko Andre Dapita so makamodel makamonitor so any idea on uh, maybe you have also idea ko eh, Alex on on it Nian Bisaril so there's sustainability and monitoring Nian Bisaril that is part of our project solid waste collection integrating JS Okay, Kuya Alex, uh, Nian Bisril can answer your your question about how the solid waste management connect with the GIS. Use, yes, so yeah, the volume of waste, correct? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like the number, the quantity, the volume in kg, in tons, yeah. So that is part of our project, Solid Waste Collection, Integrating GIS, yeah, sensors, all right? We can detect volume of waste through our sensors. That's very great. Study, Nian Bissaril. We can make spatial analysis on that. Wow, kamga bangita na nila eh. Naid natay waste uh, management na si Nian. Na siya project about ways niya. Na po diri si Kuya Alex na JS po sa DN DNR. <laughs> o oh, maayo na na kanang ang data ba? Ang data sa waste every week. Ot real time, real time. Automatic na siya. So na sensor. Dili na mag, mag table table pa ka sa Excel niya. Uh, pila to, pila to ang kuha niya. Basa-basa pa ka. Nanay, ihatag na papil sa imo. Eh. Imo pa nga dyan. I-transfer sa laptop niya. Himo pa dyan kag-excel. So, it's... Um, it's uh, time-consuming. It's not efficient. Okay. I have uh, received here what about nanoparticles in marine speech in marine in marine areas any update nanoparticles oh my god <laughs> nano nano plastic nano plastic no uh, actually I, I received a question here uh, how about nanoplastic in marine ocean? How does it affect the waste? So, nanoplastic in marine or in ocean. Actually, guys, ang plastic, listo dyan kayo na siya ma-degrade. So, it, there was a study that it will go from 50 to 100 years. Pati guwang na lang ta, napagya po ng mga plastic sa ocean. Pero, meron naman ta, ata na factory na may mga studies na din that they can um, they can decompose this uh, plastic or turn into oil again or turn into oil so they can utilize or recycle this this um, product again but for nanoplastics yeah it will stay but making this However, making this uh, factory to decompose the plastic to make it into another product or in oil will uh, 
utilize a huge amount of money. You must be, uh, you must invest a large amount of money. And I don't know where, um, which country has that right now. I only know for the, this um, clothing that they are, they're utilizing the, um, like they burn the clothes and then they turn back again into clothes but for nanoplastics because the particles and sad to say when we throw plastics in the ocean among a marine species may low guys so it will affect our marine uh, species what else okay Nian Bisaril, we have a lot of sensors including Ardonio, Ardonio, etc. Okay, it's a device, Ardonio, or equipment, a uh, sensor equipment, Ardonio. Haha, <laughs> and we are about to propose it to EMB. Sana masuportahan. Sana, sana, dalawa. <laughs> Oh nga. Oh oh. Bitaw. We have a lot of sensors including. Yes, please propose that. Please. It will help. Uh, and I hope EMB also will have an open mind for this. They will they might have to consider it. Alexander Suyum impacts a solid waste using JS. Kuya, also may impact sa GIS. Impact sa solid waste using GIS. <laughs> Material science, they go na impact. Impact of solid waste using GIS. Kuya, kuya matumag. Siguro, on a good side, it's a con. Um... Uh, it's a it's it's a on the positive area, so I don't see impact on solid waste. Unsa man? Material science day go na. <laughs> Hello, Rachel C H. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. There, my people. If na may mga pangota na, we can proceed in two to three minutes in any any biology questions you have there. So, guitarist Roles, hi. Okay. Impact the solid waste using JS. Kuya, can you enlighten me? Charat. So, mauna siya, guys, na nindot ng nai-sensor na tayo GIS. Na GIS specialist, then na po uh, sensor, then na po biologist or environmentalist na mag-uban para makukuha tag good amount of data for this waste management. We can report also. Okay. Kuya, I'll get back to you. I have to search uh, because this is new to me. Solid waste, sensors, and GIS. Okay, I'll take note. I'll take note on that. Mm, let me get back to you, okay? Hello, I don't know what happened. It just said that um, it's reconnecting. Hi, Mom Nena Ramayla. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please share it to your friends. My supportive mother. How are you? Man, mo pa ni hapon. Ako wala pa. Magluto pa kukuan. Humba. <laughs> I don't know, guys, if I can cook again. Humba, I'll try. Yes. Okay. So that's it. We learned something new, guys, for the waste management. A new thing. Uh, sensor, collect sensor, GIS, and what is that? 
uh, automated dumpsters. Thank you, Mr. Nian Bisaril and Kuya Alex for that very helpful information. And I hope that you can continue to use that one to propose it to our EMB DENR. Thank you so much for that. And I hope you have the your you have the passion to propose it and let's help Philippines have a cleaner environment through you guys. Every little thing can make a whole lot difference. Right? Right. Okay. So without no further ado Mga yun natag mga questions sa atong mga kababayan on the effect. You can ask a uh, waste, any waste sa atong environment. You can ask anything about uh, laboratory, climate change. If if you have pets there that needs licenses, you can also ask. Like, if you, example, you saw this um, wildlife in the forest and it's dying and you want to pet it, you want to bring it to your house and pet it, but this, animals, this animal is rare and it's wildlife and it's endemic. So, uh, according to the law in DNR, you are not allowed to take something from the... A protected area especially that you when you saw this in a protected area you should uh, inform immediately to the enforcement or anyone in dnr or to the authority that i have found this one uh, it's a wildlife and it's dying and and also yeah because there will be there w they will be the one to uh rehabilitate it or yeah to they will also enlist it in their in their data inventory. And if you want guys to have something like you saw some iguana or um, anything wildlife in the forest and you want to like tarantulas, what else? Hawk, lizard. Uh, you want to pet this one. Please, please, please go to authority authorized people who can issue you a permit for you to have this license because the moment you have this pet and it's endangered it's endemic it's rare you will answer to any uh, penalties or legal terms as per the environmental law okay so if you have that there are a list of uh, list of animals or plants, not just animals. Ha, plants po na mga wildlife. May nyumakit an sa forest or anywhere. Nya inyong gatun sa balay nako. Ipa license na ninyo or report na ninyo sa authorized person DNR. The RA 9147. Yeah. And also the NIPAS Act. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Naipas Act, National Integrated Protected Area System. <laughs> yeah. I okay, sure, loves. Nian Bisrael, I guess ko next time sa imong live. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Um, We will make a one, make one topic and then we, we will discuss or you will be the one to discuss, Nian Bisrael. Okay, and we will also ask questions from your topic from our audience all right so next time we will go live yeah okay Okay, hi nak, tapos na. Salamat mother. Pangano mo dirag ice cream? Ma, holiday diri ma. Yes guys, it's holiday here. It's a ideal adha for in here. So, in Mubarak 
to all. That's why napaaga yung live ko. It's because holiday man. So uh, what should I do in my room? So yeah, to share knowledge na lang to the people. Okay. I can be a good asset to your company. Ah, of course. Every uh, especially now that especially now that we are in the realm of climate change, there will be a very high demand of environmentalists, biologists, geo geologists in the future because like kana mo kana murag last minute na tamo mulihok if ang climate change do all jud or na na jud sa tong atubangan kaning ana ba kanang so there maybe in the future there will be a very high demand of environmentalists so kisa tong gustong mag biology sa mga estudyante di ha yeah make it a passion not just not just you're taking this pina Sir J P Cardal pa hi Sir J pina Sir J pa dito ko malimot if magkuha ka bayo it's kanang lahi itud siya dili lang gikuha ni mo kay para na kay kurso you must have some passion and a full understanding of and then the willingness to learn like imo jud siyang seryosohon kay biology is very nice and yeah, talaga dapat na kay passion. Mato ang gingon ni Sir J. Hehehe, he, minaw ko ana next sa RA 9147. <laughs> Bita kay akong tapad sa una before while I was working in DNR, I learned the licenses and permitting for for this um animals and plants in the forest. It's because to mamkla sabi ko Ako kay sa protected area man ko and sa ecotourism. So, na-curious ko, ma'am, kala, unsa din na yung mong gibot? Nga nung daghan kay kag-table? So, siya, ah, ko ani siya dahi, ka ng inventory ni siya sa mga licenses. Ko, unsa din na, unsa na, ma'am, ano siya, na, ka na mga as per RA 9147 sa mga protected areas or DNR law, Kailangan sa mga animals na to na dapat na license So, mao day to ang gibuhat ni Ma'am Kla. Siya, naglista ko diri sa tanan mga ano, pet shop, sa tanan mga owner. So, nailista dito ang DNR na. So, if ikaw na kay animals, nagikan sa forest, unya, wala <laughs> permit, ano pang inaantay mo? Punta ka na sa DNR. Ipalista na na para dili ka maka penalty or di ka gokdon. Okay? All right. Sige, ang sa pa yung mga uban ninyong mga questions. Hi viewers. Sige, ask mo. Kanang usab sa mga basura sa City Hall. Kanang ganahan mo magtukod og resort. <laughs> mga unsay kailangan i-comply kung magtukod mo Piggery. <laughs> I can give you general general information and you can proceed with other um, specialists on it. Okay. Sige. Ask pa mo anything. Hello. Unsa pa man? Mga rivers, but the most rivers. So, uh, Nian, be surreal. Mag schedule ta when ta mag live, and you can post it in your Facebook ahead of time so that people or your audience will know that you are going live and with this topic. Okay, and I'll be there also. But you will be the one to discuss whatever topic you like. Okay? Sure. Sige. Hi, Mr. Gaspara Myla. Hi, Father Dear. <laughs> Guys, I plug lang nako. I would like to shout out or flex or plug. Flex naman daw karo ng uso. Um, Ramayla's Van Rentals. We have van, white van, NV35 350 Nissan. 
and we have we offer tour packages services right from your own house pick up and drop off to your destination and waiting and go back to your house to drop okay so we offer tourist packages we are the ot certified and we are licensed by the ltfrb lto and tanan pa mang mga compliance sa land transportation we also have that so please Contact Mr. Gaspar Ramayla, who is watching right now, at 0995 I repeat, we have van rentals for tourism in Cebu City and Cebu Province, north or south. You can book us ahead of time. And please contact 0995 Okay. So, we, in every destination, if you want to go blue, uh, Butanding or the blue whale shark, then we have tariff on that. If you want to go to Simala or Sibunga, then you can book with us. We, if you want to go to Mactan Resorts and uh, Malboal, Badian, Kawasan, Sirau Farm, um, Tanan dito sa top, sa Mountain View, Atumog Bantayan, Pwede Pod. Okay, so we have tariff on that. Just contact 0995-644-4466. Thank you so much. Ramayla Van Rentals, complete license, DOT, City Hall, Municipality, Tanan, LTFRB, LTO. So we have question here. Hi, Jen Alin Ermak. Hi, Angel Dane Butanas watching from Negros Oriental, New York City. New York, New York. <laughs> Hello! Kumusta? Gumingaw na ko dira. Wano siya ko kana. Balik sa inyong balay. Nice na kayo inyong house. And I like it because glass panel siya and makita ang kitchen. So it makes the house very big because nai glass panel. Nice kayo inyong house, Dai. Thank you. Dai, if na kayo mga pangutan na ha. Uh, pangutan na lang. Hi! Classmate Florence Clyde. Kumusta, Flor? Yes! Hi, classmate! May gani kay nakahisgot kag resort. Question about mountain resort. Are there any restrictions, guidelines to follow? Like one hectare lang na property? Okay, good question. We have here like, for example, are there any restrictions, guidelines to follow? Like one hectare lang na property. Okay, if you have a property or land... Sadin are if nakay ani and it is um dapat nakay um only makatuko draka og um makomply ka for example protected area ni siya ha okay since um sadin are based protected area ni siya nakay bayranan ana nga um, mo apply sa ka o permit para ka makatukod and you have to comply different um, documents. So, um, mo na siya mga restrictions, okay? Um, then, you cannot just disturb the, your surroundings, okay? Then, sa mountain resort, yes, you must uh, comply like ECC, Environmental Compliance. So there are certain, um, it's an outline of documents. It's a bunch of documents that you have to comply. So they have the list of requirements uh, for mountain area. Ha? Ako mong kay sa marine ko. So I'll just try to um, explain very brief on the um, bukid na part. So kana, kanang mga, we have the protected area in Cebu. Cebu Central Protected Landscape or what we call the Cebu uh, CCPL. Kabantay mo na yung mga daghan resort dira, ay uh, resort, mga flower flower farm or mga mga ginatayo na. Um, Nana sila yung certain na mga documents ginakomply. One, um, um, for me, uh, these are, the, it's like the general management plan, same home resort, Florence. So, purpose, objective, so, um, 
pila ka area ang i-use sa imo mga waste management unsa ani mo pag-throw tarong kay resort man then magbayad po kag tax ing ana kana siya and naray mga certain mga regulations ana you can also check on NIPAS Act 9147 Republic Act 9147 sa dagat um nay tawag na SAPA okay special agreement on protected areas especially kung imo ang yuta nga 1 hectare is naa sa protected area but kung wala man namangutay sa Namria manggud kay natay um Namria ha um mura na siya Bali land in the Philippines which are um se uh, separated by commercial protected area upang industrial so ang asa man na nabilong yung imuhang 1 hectare sa commercial land industrial land protected area residential land so every type of land kung asa na bilong imuhang 1 hectare dito ka mo comply but i will give information if your area if imuhang yuta na bilong sa protected area um Natay sa pa, but I don't know kay mura gistap man siguro to nila or na gistap man siguro to nila ang special agreement on protected areas kay kaning uh, ako tag iya ko taga Camotes ko na ako ay dagat sa na ako resort sa Camotes ni apply ko okay so ako ang ako ang yuta ako ang resort kay protected area sa Camotes so, I must comply to the government. I am bound to uh, provide them with the documents. So, napo na yung 3 meter easement if kanahan ka magtukod o balay sa doon sa dagat. So, read lang more sa NIPAS 9147 Republic Act. Okay? Thank you, Floor, for your question. I hope that I have given you a, a good answer. Mira Mao Ram say, Hi Jen, very interesting kaayo regarding with proper disposal, segregation, especially plastic. Welcome! Thank you, sa that you have uh, learned something about the waste. Okay, Gaspar Mayla, oh. <laughs> Ati Angel, Dane, Butanas, Ti nga nung in Middle East, dili daw maklaro ang stars, unlike daw dari Ni Asi, Mother Virginia. <laughs> okay, that affects the topography or the location of the country. Say, for example, um, diri kay wala kayo kanang depende na siya sa lugar kung sa type sa um, biome or climate sa inyong lugar. Okay. Yeah. So sa sa desert wala kayo i clouds kay ugaman ugaman ang ang um, land, di ba? Kung naay daghang tubig, daghang sad ug mo transpire, uh, mo evaporate, right? Or transpire then mag condensate. Then, transpire. So, ang kana siya dahi na nga nung sa Middle East, dili maklaro ang star. Usay, maklaro man po. <laughs> Depende raman sa weather. Yeah. Pero mostly kay blue. Siguro, what gimi ni Auntie Virginia nga kanang habon manggod ka ng blue kayo ang sky kaya wala may mga clouds pero sa'yo makita mo po ang mga stars dag ka mag stars kita mo ganit kong shooting star ka na magtambay ko dito sa Cornish <laughs> dito sa Koan so marami namang star minsan lang talaga wala mm -mm. depende lang na siya okay so 
What else? Do we have any any questions regarding? Yes. Nam to po dog resort. Sa resort po di ay kailangan po na nato og EIA Environmental Impact Assessment. So it's a bunch of document also that you have to undergo through and submit to the government. So you can comply with the regulations and then tukod na imong resort. Ganon. Importante dira ang imong waste management. Okay. Ang importante ra na nga di ka maka-disturb sa environment. Okay? <laughs> Sige, ask any questions. What else? Animals, plants, uh, bacteria. <laughs> bacteria sa food, sa water. Laboratory, food laboratory. I can give you a general explanation. What else? Um, construction, environmental. Yeah, building. That's uh, like magtukodog resort or magtukodog building. Okay. So guys, what else? What do you have any questions sa dagat? Basin na mo question sa dagat. Oh, basin na mo question sa dagat ka nang ngano ang mallball kay <laughs> Nganong na yung mga daghan kay mga algae sa mallball. Oh. Ngano man. Again, we will go back to the waste identification segregation. Treatment, disposal, recycle, re reuse. Okay? <laughs> so, more on that. Siya. Nganong puti, uh, nganong mo puti ang corals? Nay puti nga corals? Wala puti nga corals, guys. Puputi na siya kay wala na ay namatay naman. Mauna na siya ang calcium carbonate. So, nang wala ng zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae are the pigment, uh, the organism responsible for the pigmentation of corals. So that is why experience na ako sa mabaldagan kaayo kuto sa dogis. <laughs> not, not. Experience na ako sa mabaldagan kayo kuto sa dogis. <laughs> Napaligwa dagat ang dog. Carry the dog, bring them to the sea, and then go swimming with the dog. Tanggala na ang kuto. Okay. What else? Guys, I have one um, advice. If mga ligo mong dagat, please, 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 never, ever take something from the sea. Kita may ra ba kita mo ato dagat na hala na starfish hala kung kwaon dad uns balay kabus balay unsa man ni moy display mamatay ra na unya ang dagat na unsa man ang dagat wa na kung pila ka tao sa world na manguhag starfish kada adlaw sa dagat maunsa man ang dagat loy po kay mga nahabilin dito kay kwaon mo guna siya um, web mangod na siya. So, consumer, ana na, ang gamay, ang dako mukhang sa gamay, yeah, kaun kaun, web na siya. So, if you're distracting one, mura siya, ang dagat, mura siya, katawan na to. So, our body is made up of different organs. We have or also organelles. Okay? So, if we, if, if ang atong usa ka organ sa lawas magkasakit, then our body will not function well. Okay? So that's also the same with the marine, marine ecosystem. Why? If you take out one 
um, certain type of species, it will affect. For example, nagtukod o kuan resort, dagang kay corals, iyadong kikuha ang corals, tanan, namatay ang corals. Yan, sana may mabilin sa mga isda. Mamatay sana mga isda, kaya mga sila'y balay, wala na may balay si Nemo. Mauto siya. So, it's a connection, interlink, interconnection between every organism. So, pwede lang, uh, if na may makita na mga corals, mga shells, or starfish, pa-picture lang mo, very kadyot lang, okay? Kadyot lang, kaayo. Kadyot lang, jud. Kay, if itulong po na ni Musa na ma maunsa na na ang ilhang lawas, kita mang gani, if di mang gani taka ginhawa o ka ng pila lang kasekan, murang gitag makuya pa na no? itong brain. So, yung ana po ang mga organism sa dagat, ha? Nya, kung mga ligo ta, <laughs> we we should also think that we, uh, we will not be stepping to any of the corals, okay? Because a lot of our um, author, authorized personnel are taking care, our environmentalists, our DNR, and other NGOs are taking care of these um, coral reefs and marine species. So when we go there, we will also Take care as how do you take care? Like, mag snorkeling ta, dili lang po na to, tamak namakan ang mga corals, okay? Kay, balay mana sa mga sa mga isda, okay? Ate, kuya ngobs, ante, unsa ng corals flower? Ang corals, mana siya mga balay sa mga isda, okay? So, na mga different type of corals. So, it's a, it's a, it is photosynthesizing. It photosynthesizes at the same time. It also engulfs, it also a plant-like animal. It's both plant, it's also animal. Why? Maglibu ka noon say coral no? Plant siya because it needs sunlight to photosynthesize. Muna siyang corals. Animal siya because it engulfs. What is engulf? Kuha, mukaon, ingest. So, di rin. Ano sa mga yung ingest? Kanang mga debris. Kanang mga, mga nutrients nasa dagat. Kanang plankton. Ano sa pana, di rin. Basta na na sila certain food na i-ingest. So, plant sila na animal. Okay? Mau na siya ang, ang corals. Plant, kaya mag-photosynthesize, mag og sunlight. That's why most corals appear only 8 to 10 meters. There are also corals who can be found like 30 meters. Uh, yeah, kay Cliff mong gudo ako nakitaan sa Balikasag Island. Yeah. Indot kay siya, guys, as in wall of corals. So, mana siya, kuya ngobs, okay? Sige, guys. What else do you have in mind? Mga kuan, kumakita mo mga kato nga, mga mga bitin, or mga wildlife, mga iguana, mga tarantula, ikuan yun, ha? So, mga resort, Sa mga mangrove, sa mga rivers, 